All right, so here was today's warm-up. First thing I asked you to do was talk in your groups about what you would do to find the volume of each of these composite figures. One of the figures, a different figure, or this figure. Uh, so to figure out the composite volume of this figure, well, we have to think about what do we see. We see a cone, and we see a cylinder. And what we need to do is we need to figure out the volume of the cone, figure out the volume of the cylinder, and add them together. And that would give us the volume of the whole shape. Okay, for this figure, we have a cylinder and we have a rectangular prism. We just need to figure out the volume of each of those and add them together. So we figure out the volume of the cone, or sorry, the cylinder, the volume of the prism, and add them together. Last one, here we have again a rectangular prism, and this is actually a square base. We have a rectangular prism, but we have, and we have a cone, but it's not being added, it's being subtracted this time, right? So we have everything here minus this. So we figure out the volume of the rectangular prism, and we subtract the volume of the cone. I'm going to quickly work through these. You only had to do one of them, but I'm going to quickly work through them for you. Uh, so here we have a cone plus a cylinder. So let's figure out the volume of the cone first. It's one-third pi r squared times height. I'm going to plug in. The radius is 7. The height is 7. So I'm going to plug those in. Volume is one-third pi 7 squared times 7. Start solving. It's one-third pi times 7 squared is 49 times 7. Now I'm going to multiply 49 times 7. I'll get volume equals 1 3rd pi times 343. Now I'm going to multiply 1 3rd times 343. In other words, divide 343 by 3. So I'll get volume equals 114.3 pi. Here's my solution in terms of pi. And then I have volume is about... 114.3 times 3.14, that's what we use for pi in this class. Volume is about 358.9. And then I'm going to write that on my paper there, about 358.9. Okay, volume of the cylinder. Volume is about pi r squared times height. Plug in what I've got, 7 squared times 6, because 7 is the radius, 6 is the height. Remember, if you had a diameter and not a radius, you would have to divide it by 2, right? Okay, figure out 7 squared is 49, so I'm going to rewrite it. Volume equals pi times 49 times 6. Figure out what 49 times 6 is. Volume equals 249 pi. There's my solution in terms of pi. Figure out my answer. Volume is about 294 times 3.14. Volume is about 923.16. I'm going fast because this is review. So now I have the volume of the cylinder. Well, what am I going to do to figure out the volume of the whole shape? Add them together. 358.9 plus 923.16. Make sure my decimals are lined up. Add them up. So my volume is 1,282.06 cubic feet. It's about that, actually. Okay, let's figure out this shape. Volume of a rectangle. A rectangular prism, remember, if whatever the base is, as long as it's staying the same shape straight up, we can just say base times height. Well, what's the base of this? Length times width, right? So volume equals length times width times height. That's an H, believe it or not. Volume equals 9 times 4 times 5. Length times width times height. So volume equals 180 cubic centimeters. 180. Write that in there so I've got it. Volume of the cylinder. Volume equals base times height, but what's how do we figure out the volume, the area of that base? Pi r squared, right? So volume is pi r squared times height. Uh, let's see, we've got the radius is 2. We have the height is 3, so I can just plug those in. Volume equals pi times 2 squared times 3. Volume equals pi times 4 times 3. All I did was figure that out. Volume equals 12 pi. Volume is about... 37.68. Sorry, I skipped a step where I just multiplied 12 times 3.14. Okay, now I have the volume of my cylinder. So how am I going to figure out the volume of the composite shape? Just add them together. 180 plus 37.68. Line up my decimals. Fill in zeros if it makes me happy. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68. 217.68
so my volume is about 217.68 cubic centimeters. Okay, last and trickiest shape. This time I'm subtracting, right? I have the volume of all of this, but not the volume of this. So let's figure out first the volume of the rectangular prism. As I said before, we're assuming that this is a square. So volume equals length times height times, sorry, length times width times height, because length and width gives me the base. So that is 5 times 5 times 7. Length is 5, width is 5, height is 7. So volume is 175. Put that there so I don't forget it. Now I'm looking for the volume of the cone. Remember, it's one-third base times height. Base of this is a circle, so I'm looking for pi r squared. So volume is one-third pi r squared height. Slightly trickier, three centimeters is the diameter, so the radius is actually 1.5 centimeters, right? And our height is right here, that five centimeters. Volume equals one-third pi times 1.5 squared times five. Volume equals one-third pi times 2.25 times 5. All I did was square that. Now I'm just going to multiply these two. Volume equals one-third pi times 11.25. Now I'm going to take one-third of that. So I either multiply it by one-third, difficult way, or just divide that by three, easier way. I get volume equals 3.75 pi. Now I'm going to plug in 3.14 for pi. And I'll get volume is about 11.78. Now remember, I have to subtract this time. So 175 minus 11.78. Fill in with zeros so that I can borrow. Do my subtraction. The volume of that shape is 163.22 cubic centimeters. All right, see you in class.